Well, well, well. Here we are, first day. First day in December, first trading day in December, really sort of feels like the second day, because we were trading uh, busy little beavers last night. Let's look at this dollar cad. We talked about it on uh, Twitter last night. It's broken this trend line here. Got a number of different things uh, going through our minds. We got crude up at 53.60 now. This thing shot higher. CAD looks like it's set to break this 51.80 low before the Bank of Canada announcement, so we're course short. Um, this looks good. But we continue with this idea. <laughs> core short dollar CAD. Euro yen doesn't really reflect it here on this chart, but we know it traded up to 38 last night. Uh, we spent plenty of time above 30. I guess you would call it in the pre-market or whatnot. Um, we did get back down to 73 in the Asian session, which I found quite shocking. Uh, but we certainly didn't fill the gap, which was at 128.41. We like Euro Yen to squeeze higher, mainly because the market short euros. Uh, and this sort of risk on theme should drive euros higher. For short bonds, uh, they gapped open lower as well. Tough close uh, at the month end on um, Friday. We're sticking with this. Of course, short in the long end here. Um, this would be very important to close below 139.15. This looks pretty solid. We are not short boons yet. This thing is going to gap open lower today, uh, so we're probably not going to get a chance to do this. We'll have to see where this thing opens, and we'll have to see if we get below 61, 161, the figure, which is very important in the boons. Looks like we're going to be chasing this one. We did not sell on Friday. Um, we do like short European fixed income, uh, especially with this, you know, risk on equities higher, bonds lower. Spoos, 2808. Surely we're going to get above 2818 at some point. This is where everyone, anyone who is short, will have to have a stop above this level. So we will take this out eventually. Maybe today, maybe tomorrow. Keep in mind, we've had a lot of green bars here in Spoos. Uh, and also keep in mind, there's a whole cartload of stuff wrong with the global economy. There's you know, Euro is, Europe, Europe is stagnating, China's broken, and the U.S. is, um, you know, sort of on drugs in the sense that they're being driven by these tax cuts, um, and employment is low, but valuations don't make a lot of sense to us, so... We're skeptical of, st of stocks. We do think we're going to trade up into this 2860 area. Um, and this is where we will sell this, uh, what we'll call mini rally here, mini G20 rally. But for today, um, this thing should continue to be steadily higher. We, you know, we don't have, we did not buy uh, spoos last night, so we don't really have a dog in this fight. But looks like certainly we're going to clear these recent highs take out some stops. Let's quickly go to Aussie and Aussie Yen. As expected, this stuff shot up. Traded back down to 50 last night, which makes a little bit of sense. Now we're at 66. Um, don't think this gap is going to get filled. Should be congestion up here at 7420, which is 200 day. Core long Aussie um, looks okay. Looks okay for now. We're stretched, and so you got to be patient. You want to be trading this stuff now on the long side, not just marrying the long side. Um, there will be push and pull after sort of 1% gap up moves and all of this stuff. I'm 
obviously oil's up what five yeah five point six percent oil this one stings a bit you know we had this long bias down here but such is life um, but these are now tradable longs you can't you can't just sit here and blindly um, well you can if you want but we're of the nature when we get stretched we trade from a specific side of the market uh, and you know just to sort of sum things up we're, we'll be trading on the risk on side today all right that's about it uh, we will now just be let's look, look at the calendar real quick no one even talking about the calendar because of all of this G20 stuff. Today we have ISM manufacturing out of the U.S. Oh yeah, we got RBA tonight. I like them apples. Uh, Australia is not going to raise rates tonight, but they will have probably a positive bias, so this should be okay if you're long Aussie positions. Keep in mind, um, if you have Aussie on, you do have RBA tonight. Also in Europe, you have manufacturing PMIs from uh, all the member states, all the big member states, and we got some Fed speakers. Fed speakers midday Europe. All right, good luck, guys. I will speak to you along the way.